Hi, my name is Michi Held. Welcome to Daily Drum Lesson. Today we're going to check out an incredibly cool Joost Nickel Groove. As some of you might have heard, Joost Nickel just got a signature snare drum by Sonor. To showcase it, they released a couple of videos of him playing it, and one of them just blew my mind. So I had to make a lesson about it. It shows everything what I love so much about Joost's playing. His musicality, his creativity, and his beautiful touch on the instrument. I put a link in the description below. Please watch it, it's amazing. The whole groove is a two-bar phrase, so let's start with the first measure. Here he does this cool trick where he hits the left stick with the right one to make it bounce and create this buzz roll. But we won't worry about this just yet, first we get the pattern down. The whole thing is linear and the sticking is kick, left, right, left, right, left, right, kick, kick, left, right, 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 right. The very first hi-hat stroke is doubled and this one right here is played open. The crossed note head on the snare line with the left hand is a rim click and the one with the right hand is where you hit the stick. Let me play that for you really slow at 60 BPM. Now we add this little stick bounce. And in order to do that, you just lift your hand off the stick right when you hit it. Make sure to put that hand back on in time, right here on count four and on count one of the next bar. So the second bus will be a tiny bit longer. Let's go for that second measure. Here it's getting a bit tricky timing-wise, but the first half is really simple. We play this, which is way easier than it looks. All it is, is a simple 16th note groove, but we play the right hand on the snare instead of the hi-hat, and we skip the first two notes. And that is exactly how you can start to learn it. First on the hi-hat, then you leave out the first two notes, and then you move it to the snare. And we add another backbeat on count four, just to make it feel better, and we would add that later anyway. Here we go. The second half is the tricky one. Here we got some triplets. Three E and triplet, four triplet and A. Ah. Let's try just that on the snare. The 
the sticking for that part is right, left, right, 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 left, right, 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 right. The right hand plays taps on the snare and the left hand a rim click. Let's put them together for the complete second bar. Once you have mastered them individually, you can put them together. Let's go really slow first and then to the original tempo of 85 BPM. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you like this, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like, write something nice in the comments below. You can watch some more of my videos over here. Support me on Patreon if you want to make more videos like this possible and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.